Y'all, so the last time you saw this thing, it did have the cab and the bed on. We went and took those off, off camera, and just put them out in the barn where we got this thing from. And we went ahead and took the gas tank off. It sat in that back square right there. And it's sitting in the sun to get all the vapors out. And then we already tested the sandblasting and the painting on the front piece that holds that radiator in. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and do it to the frame now. Here's the setup I got. I got a 4,000 pound or 4,000 PSI pressure washer. And uh, there's the hose. And then I have a connector. And it makes the hose a little long, but the guy said it would be fine. And then it has a connector that comes back to here. And we have a like 10 gallon trash can of sand and the hose goes to, all the way to the bottom and it did need airflow so I went ahead and attached this compressor hose to it and the compressor is just going to run and I went ahead and taped the air hose down so it would constantly blow air and I just taped it right next to the opening of that hose so it kind of mixes up the sand and makes it loose and then it's easier for it to suck it up so this will be <laughs> so this will be running that'll be running and I'll be sandblasting the truck right there in the driveway and we also have more sand in case uh, we run out. But I think we'll be okay for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the truck out and we'll see how we'll see if it works as well as it did for this front piece. So I got it out and I put it in park and now I'm gonna go ahead and sandblast it. Y'all, so I went through about three bags. The driveway is now looking like a beach, but it is working, so I'm gonna just keep going. I just refilled it uh, with three more bags, so I filled it back to the top so I can keep going. And uh, it seems like it's doing pretty well. I'm just gonna do the whole thing and kind of go over it again one more time. <laughs> and uh, we are getting new springs and shocks and stuff like that, so I'm not gonna do those. That'd just be a waste of my time. But uh, I'm gonna keep on going. Y'all, so two tanks of gas and a ton of bags of sand later, this thing is finally sandblasted. So it took a while, it probably took like four-ish hours. So tomorrow hopefully I can wake up and paint this thing. I don't know how well you can see, but um, it's pretty clean. It does have that surface rust on it, it gets like after, cause just it's wet like with the pressure washer. So it did get that surface rust, but that'll easily be taken off before I paint. I'll just show y'all in the morning what this thing actually looks like. <laughs> y'all, so it is the next day now, and uh, I'm going to pull the truck out in a second. But first, I just have to pressure wash the driveway because there's like an inch thick of sand around the whole thing. So I'm going to push this all with the pressure washer and go ahead and pull the truck out after that. Y'all, so the driveway is clean from all the sand, and I went ahead and pulled the truck out, and it is ready, it is almost ready to paint. So I still gotta do the prep 
and like metal prep and degreaser stuff. This stuff was pretty, it was silver when I first sandblasted it. It just got all the surface rust, but this, um, this metal prep will go ahead and take that stuff off and get it ready to paint. I'm not going to get, so like where these springs are attached, I'm not going to be able to paint like under that right there. Um, but when we do replace these springs, I'll just go ahead and get that. So I'm just going to get the main parts of the truck today. And then when we start replacing parts, then we'll start getting in all the tiny cracks and crevices with the paint. So that's the plan, and I'm going to go ahead and start prepping this thing. So now that the whole thing's covered in degreaser, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off with the hose, and then go ahead and start with the metal prep. Okay, so the degreaser is done. I went ahead and washed it off with the hose. Now it's time for the metal prep, which is right there. Oh, it's not turned around. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on and you just have to keep it wet for 20 to 30 minutes, it says on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And after that, it should leave a coating and be ready for painting. Y'all, so the frame is looking nice. I just cleaned up the metal prep with a hose and put this plastic under it so the paint won't drip. So we're gonna go ahead and paint the main part of the frame and then I'm gonna do the engine up here a little bit later because it's a little, like there's more nooks and crannies and stuff. And uh, when we take the springs off and the tires off, we'll get up all under where the spring sits and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started painting the frame. Y'all, so it's looking really nice. Me and my mom have been painting it for two hours, maybe, at this point. And um, I've kind of finished up, except for here at the front. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the tarp off and just be really, really careful. And I'm just gonna paint around these small areas. And there's still gonna be some I can't get to, but those will truly have to be when I take like the springs and stuff off. off to
So I know you probably can't see her very well because it's getting dark, but uh, I just finished it up. So the whole thing is painted now. So next up, we ordered some parts and they should be on the way. So we got like brakes and shocks and the gas tank and stuff like that. And after that, I think we got a five speed going in. Someone's gonna help us put that in because I've never put a transmission in. So um, that's coming in the next in the next one. Sorry for not posting. Uh, Corona again has got it down. Y'all, so uh, that's basically it. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah.